In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, successive conflicts in recent decades have seen systematic use of rape and sexual assault by all fighting forces. These widespread and recurrent acts have been the subject of numerous UN reports revealing the scale of these crimes. It says the violence may amount to crimes against humanity. The majority of the acts of sexual violence cited in these reports constitute crimes under Congolese law as well as international, human rights and humanitarian law. If such violence has long gone unpunished, it is partly due to the lack of access to justice for the victims. Sophie Padi is a Congolese non-governmental organisation. Its mission is to accompany women, children and men who have suffered this violence. We are the first intervenants qui rencontrent ces victimes de violences sexuelles. C'est pour le mois de, de le mois de janvier, nous avons reçu au total 46 victimes de violences sexuelles. Elles ont elles ont bénéficié de ces antirétroviraux, elles ont bénéficié de ça, de la pilule de lendemain pour éviter la grossesse indésirable. Noëlla is one of the founders of Sophie Padi. Les personnes qui viennent, ils vont violer, torturer, découper. For the victims, the violence they have suffered is often difficult to describe and name. Sophie Padi employs a full-time psychologist to help women and children talk about the abuse they have suffered. We are here to soulage first the patient. We receive the patient, we listen first to the problems he has, we search the nets of the problems, where we can the problems. And when we find the nets of the problems, Nous, avec les patients, nous, on est là pour orienter les, pro les problèmes, là où lui-même peut prendre la décision. Nous, on n'est pas là pour lui dire que toi, tu dois faire ça, non. That day, she received a victim of sexual violence. While this woman was working in the fields, she and her daughter were raped. Both decided to keep the children resulting from these rapes. The women who come here receive medical and legal support. Gloria is a human rights officer. She works for the Joint UN Office, whose mandate is to help victims obtain justice and reparation. She cooperates with this clinic. We document these cases, and when we refer to justice, more particularly the justice military, because it's the one who is competent to judge the crimes committed by the groups of armed forces or les les forces le service gouvernementaux qui a l'obligation en tant que juridiction de documenter et d'enquêter sur ces violations de droits de l'homme The doctors at the center assist victims in providing forensic medical accounts of the violence they suffered to support their cases in court Tous ces éléments là contribue à, à faire découvrir la vérité. Les traces auront disparu, mais avec tous les éléments récoltés euh, par Sophie Padi, déjà euh, au niveau de, cette première, de ce premier contact, va permettre, que ce soit au juge ou au magistrat, de, de découvrir vraiment ce qui s'est passé. Gloria's specific role is also to provide assistance to vulnerable victims exposed to possible reprisals. Et c'est à travers les mesures de protection que nous mettons en place qui leur redonnent confiance, qui leur permettent de parler. Some of these trials are held in the villages where the abuses were committed. Ces audiences-là ont aussi un rôle pédagogique pour donner un signal fort déjà aux présumés auteurs, mais aussi pour reconforter la population pour dire que la justice est là, elle fait son travail et confiance. These hearings not only restore the public's confidence in the judicial process but they also give victims a voice. Thanks to its holistic approach, Sophie Padi is an essential actor in denouncing human rights violations and fighting impunity.